For 2016, Toyota has launched its fourth generation Prius and it's completely redesigned inside and out. It's designed to be more attractive, more functional, but most importantly, the most fuel efficient Prius they've ever made. I've been looking forward to driving it ever since it was launched and I have it on the test drive this week. So let's get in, drive around and let's see, is this the best Prius they've ever made? It only makes sense that a vehicle that has less resistance going through the wind will be more fuel efficient. A teardrop shape is actually the most aerodynamic shape we know of and if you compare that shape to that of the 2016 Prius you'd certainly see the resemblance. They use a figure called coefficient or drag coefficient and the 2016 Prius is the most aerodynamic or having the lowest drag coefficient they've ever built. It's actually better than the 2016 Chevy Volt, which is kind of the benchmark. So here you go, less wind resistance, better fuel economy, here's a plus for the 2016 Prius. One of the consistent challenges of internal combustion engine technology is the fact that it creates a lot of heat, which essentially is energy, and that gets wasted. The ability to recycle some of that heat energy is known as thermal efficiency. And historically, most engines have never been able to top 30, 35%. That's in a hundred years. Toyota is claiming that this is the first internal combustion engine that achieves at least 40% thermal efficiency. In the end, what that means is this should increase the overall fuel efficiency since the engine doesn't need to work that hard. This engine, by the way, is a four cylinder, 1.8 liter, 16 valve uh, engine that puts about 121 net horsepower. Is that gonna give you a race car? No, but for the application here, for the type of vehicle it is, that's more than enough. All right, so that we know that the new Prius is good on gas, but what about meeting the needs of a family? What about storage capacity? Well, let's take a look inside and what you'll see is there's about 24.6 cubic feet of space. What does that mean? Well, certainly enough room for my camera bag, but what else? I'd say you'd probably fit about three or four grocery bins in here. You'll probably get maybe two hockey bags, maybe even two or three sets of golf clubs. So, you know, actually not too bad for storage wise inside the new Prius. I also discovered while running weekend errands, the Prius can hold two new Muskoka chairs, an air filter, and a big Costco birthday cake with the second row seats folded. Not bad. The interior of the 2016 Prius is both familiar and new at the same time. Noteworthy is the driver information cluster that's situated in the center of the vehicle instead of being over the wheel for worldwide implementation. There's plenty of data available through the series of visual displays, both in the driver information screens and the center stack. Now, the gear shifter in the Prius has always been peculiar and perhaps even a little quirky, which will take new users some time to get used to. Wireless smartphone charging is a new feature added to the Prius, and as for spaciousness, front row occupants enjoy 39.4 inches of headroom and 43.2 inches of legroom, while second row occupants will get 37.4 inches of headroom but only 33.4 inches of legroom. This is, after all, a compact car. If it's Toyota's goal to maintain its status as the number one selling hybrid on the market with the launch of this 2016 Prius, I actually don't think they have anything to worry about. 
Now that may have something to do with the Prius name itself when you consider the fact that it's been around for generations and there's millions of previous customers who might be looking for another one. There's really nothing in this next generation Prius that would scare them away. There's a better powertrain. There certainly is more fuel efficiency. It's something I even taught myself when I did my own combined driving. That may have something to do with my driving style and the vehicle. For families with a decent sized trunk, not a bad size second row and a host of new technology features, I think it's a good fit as well. Overall though, if there's one knock I have, it's got to still be with the exterior design. Let's face it, the Prius has been a polarizing design right from the get-go and that's certainly not changing with this one. I don't dislike it, but I will admit there's probably more attractive hybrids on the market. That being said, for the money, this is a pretty good car and overall, I got to say, I did enjoy my week in it. This is a fun car, and if you're in the market for a hybrid, you probably want to give this vehicle a shot. But that's it for me for now. For Envirodad.com, I'm Eric Novak. Thanks for watching. Now, if you excuse me, I'm going to go have another drive. If you like this review, we've got more of them, both written and video, at www.envirodad.com. There's also a Facebook page for you to like, and you know what? We're even doing Twitter as well.